we know that, that, that the same things are being done as, as, as were being done before the 2008 crash and with knobs on. And I, I remember some years ago, a, a quite a clever but failed film called Contagion. I, mean, I saw it on an airplane because it was probably in the cinema was about two minutes before it failed, which was about uh, a sort of swine flu uh, outbreak, bird flu outbreak, so suddenly spreading throughout the civilized countries. Uh, and I think the reason it failed was because it was such a believable portrayal of what happens to an advanced country when there is a general breakdown of authority and where things cease to exist. And if you get a, a, a situation, which I very much fear, where money dies, uh, then things of that kind might happen. I'm genuinely worried about the, about the near future. I, do, I don't think it's good, and particularly for, for my own country where we have especially strong problems. One, a ridiculous overestimate of our own importance and wealth and our own ability to trade. And secondly, a, a, a tremendous inbuilt economic crisis based upon an unsustainable debt. So given the nature of these intractable problems and, and given that the evidence is quite overwhelming that they are real, they're not imaginary, they're not going to go away. No. Why is it then that we are unable to pull together enough for long enough to have a reasoned debate about any of this? At some point, I mean, I, I'm, I'm an ex-Bolshevik and this does two things for me. One, it means that I have a lot to be guilty about. And secondly, it gives me insights into the the politics and nature of the modern left, which most people don't have. I One of the things that I did when I was still a revolutionary socialist was uh, was try and prevent people from exercising freedom of speech and thought. It came naturally to me. It came naturally to me because I believed that what I thought and desired was so good that anybody who disagreed with me must, by their nature, be evil and be deserving of being silenced. And this is the problem. The, the general left-wing belief, which is held by the elites of most Western countries now, uh, is, is also a belief in their own virtue. Oh. And if you believe very strongly in your own virtue, and your virtue is based, it's, 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 an, it's almost a caricature of justification by faith alone. Uh, you are a good person because you hold certain opinions. Therefore, if you hold other opinions, you're a bad person. And I think that makes dialogue pretty much impossible. If you think your opponent is bad, not just wrong, but bad, why should you listen to a word he says? Well, they don't. Thank you for watching this episode. We appreciate your support. If you value vital conversations like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel there and also click the notification bell to stay up to date with new releases.